Well, good morning, guys. I'm right here at the middle of the Heart of Ohio Antique Center, sitting in the Commons. Um, yeah, we're not open yet. We're still closed. Security's just starting to unbundle everything. But I thought today I have to get out here and get some work done. So come along. We're going to have an interesting day. We'll have some sold bins. May have a house call to go on, and we'll keep you posted. Let's roll. So here's the situation. We have to get this all put back out in the mall. It's already all priced. We had to condense some booths as we were remodeling and uh, we've got to get this put back out in the mall. To the left here, we have to get this space organized uh, where we can continue to price and work out of. So this is our workspace for pricing. And then this group, uh, same thing. We have to get this all put back out in the mall so we can set up our whatnot sales area right here. So I think I'm gonna start with this section and work from left to right uh, and start just getting all this put out in the mall as fast as we can and then just continue on, work our way back that direction. So I caught, caught Josh in here working away, man. He's, he's, got, he's got a lot to get done. He's not wanting to talk to me at all, but he's, uh, I said, hey, I gotta get you on this video because all these, these uh, our friends out here, they're wanting to say something to you. So what do you got to say today, Josh? Give us a word. Uh, it's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be a good day. I always say that, don't I? It's gonna be a good day. That's good. It's a good day going into positive day. mindset, right? Hey, you know it's I mean, raining. It's raining. We got one call that we're canceling on because there's some outside stuff, um, and we got other things that we got to get done today. So we're gonna get this knocked out, get the back room knocked out, um, keep everything moving. You know, how coach, uh, coach always say what, well, it's a great day for football. Mm -hmm. We're in there coaching. It's yeah. a great day to antique. That's deal, right. right. It is a great day to antique. <laughs> Especially at the heart of Ohio Antique Center. Raining outside, it's not raining in here. That's perfect. Only in a few spots. <laughs> All right, I'll catch you after a bit. All right. Okay, guys, I'm sitting here with another young guest, and this is Gideon. And Gideon, uh, his brother, brother and sister both got interviewed, right? Yeah. And uh, he said, hey, I'd like to talk to you guys, too. So, Gideon, what do you want to talk about? Uh, you said you like cameras. Yes, I collect them. You collect cameras? How many do you have? Two. Two? I collect them. I started collecting them, like, when I was, like... Like four. Okay. So you've had a couple cameras for a long time? Okay. Yes. What, what do you like to do with them? Just like looking at them. Just look at them? Do you try and use them? They don't work anymore. They don't work? So you're collecting broken cameras? Okay. That's interesting. That's interesting. They so don't look broken. They look, they look good. So you just don't know how to work it? Yes. Okay. Okay. I, I get it now. My bad. I'm sorry. Okay. That's fun. So um, what are you looking for today then? Cameras? Okay, I know, I know a booth down here. The guy's got some miniature cameras for sale for 10 bucks. What do you think? Is that in your price range? You wanna go try and find, look at one of those? Anything else you wanna tell these guys? Then we'll go try and find the camera. Uh, do you have fun when you're shopping here? Yeah? Who do you come here with? My grandma. Grandma, grandma drags you in here. Did you drag her in or did she drag you in? Which way is it? Do you uh, tell her, hey, I wanna to go to the antique center? Yeah? Yeah, they fight over who gets to come. They, oh, yeah? Do you like you like getting the, the, the lunch here? you like getting food? Cookies? Are you a cookie guy? You're not a cookie guy? What do you like? Hot dogs? Hot dogs. Hot dogs. Hot dogs. Okay. And chips. Chips and hot dogs. And Gatorade? And Gatorade. Oh, okay. Chips, hot dogs, and Gatorade. Well, how about we try and find a camera? Or we'll go get on down on the left. It's, it's ways down here. We'll go see if we can't find that camera for you, okay? So all these cameras are all ten dollars yes. each. There's a whole bunch of these. These are miniature ones here with boxes. Yes. Yes. Yeah, you yes. like those? Yes. You like the looks of those? <laughs> you like that guy right there? Yeah. Everything in this guy's booth is ten dollars. He, he does a ten dollar special, and so uh, yeah, we'll just have to get somebody with a key to come down and help you out now, okay? Right. So this is cool. We have one of our customers that uh, just picked this up for what'd you say? Twenty five. Twenty five dollars. It's Murano Italian. I believe it's Murano anyway. Uh, absolute stunning colors and I like the silver decoration that's just scattered throughout the whole piece and look at the colors in this just a stunning piece of glass um, yeah that's gorgeous here's the back here's the nice polished bottom on I'm pretty sure that's Murano um, absolutely stunning and it's got a nice size so it's probably 10 inches or so across gorgeous piece and Josh getting something loaded up again that's funny this is a tight squeeze so the gates gonna come down right to here uh, I don't know. I think it might fit, Josh. This is for YouTube. <laughs> Man, it's so close. I don't. I don't think it's going. There you go. Oh, there you yeah, go. I see just pop them off. I think it'll shut without those, though. It's gonna be close. Do <laughs> haul. 
Look at this. Now that's a tight fit right there. <laughs> cool. We uh, we had about an eighth of an inch to spare in that uh, that cupboard load right there. Josh made it work though. Hey, All right, Papa and Mamaw just showed up. What yeah. what you guys been doing? We just got back from church. Oh, did you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was a good sermon. Good so. one. All right, good deal. Talked about you today. Uh oh, I'm in trouble. Don't be saying nothing about me. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. All right, well, good deal. Well, we're glad you're here. Yeah, what do you got planned the rest of the day? Um, just spending some time here and then going to the grocery and home. Grocery and home. Okay, good deal. We got game night tonight, I think. So, mm. as report, this room is getting getting less stuff in. So you've seen the pile we started with, and then we're down to this. And then we've got this next section set. We got our tables in place that uh, we'll be using these to price stuff, get it ready for the antique center, get it ready for whatnot, whatever out of this space. We still have this one to get done, but uh, we are getting closer. Let's walk back over here for a second. This whole pile of stuff here, we're actually gonna send off to another auction and let them uh, just, just sell it for us. It's just too much, too big of stuff to ship easy and uh, we gotta have the space. So we're sending all these items off to an auction. All right, Josh, what do you reckon here? Yeah, we're ready for showcases. We're ready to bring some showcases in and start setting up for whatnot, aren't we? Wow, guys, we got this space finally, finally emptied over here. This has been two months in the making to get us this space right here, this corner. Now we can start setting back up again, finishing this all out. First whatnot sell back here, I'm not sure. It's gonna be soon, next couple weeks at some point. It's so cool, it's sold. Check out the lamp, guys. I don't know if that's signed or not. It's 245. This the wonderful pattern with the seashell on there. And the patina is out of sight. So that's a 1920 era. Uh, just a good period lamp. 245. And they, they made an offer of uh, 200 is what they're getting it for. So that's pretty cool. Sold. Well, this is an interesting item up here. This is a carved Chinese jade brush. Uh, it looks like uh, it's in the sold bin. I don't know if it's going to make the sale or not, but it's up here. So $850 price tag on this guy. It is so cool. This wonderful feel to it. A lot of this early jade, you can just feel the smoothness in it as well. But great color, uh, wonderful carving, and it's a big piece. Priced at $800, $850, and we'll see if that goes out. $29 sold on the hand-blown vase. That's an interesting piece. Now there's an interesting piece. This is a John Deere bulldozer. And that's priced at 185 so it's a, it says it's a 40 crawler dozer. Um, a, lot, a lot of folks disregard John Deere's and these old toys, but man, you gotta really pay attention to them. $185 in the sold bin. Big old Fenton Silvercrest uh, vase, kind of a swing, a swing vase, I guess. Swung vase, $19.99. Wow, check that one out. Buy of the day so far for 20 bucks. Another piece of Pyrex sold. That one there is priced out at $19. That's cool. Here's an earlier book of Mammoth, the Mammoth Cave book. This is an older one though. This is kind of fun. That's probably, was it, 1900 range. Let's see if we can get a date. 1879, Mammoth Cave. Uh, oh, that's fun. And that's priced at $15. $15. A neat book, 15 bucks. Oh, there's an interesting box of drawers. Uh, that's probably, I don't know, I guess it's probably shiny. I don't know, it's oak. Maybe that's a custom made piece, I don't know. Interesting piece anyways. I think it sold for 150, but I don't see the price tag on it. That's cool. Mid-century chair just sold. I don't have a price on this one, but it is sold. Uh, nice orange colors. All right, we got a nice oak table that just sold. It looks like it's got two, two leaves with it down underneath. Not sure of the price, it almost looks like ash. I would probably turn the century kitchen table, sold. Somebody bought a whole bunch of precious moments. Those are cool. This is coming up right now, just sold. And these $150, that's cool. And There's a couple of cast iron beer wagons and uh, Clydesdale sold for $39. Hey guys, I'm here with Josh and we were just reading the comments from our post, our short we did. And we asked, uh, hey, what do you guys want to see? Uh, and so we have so many different categories. There, there was like a ton of response in that, and it's really awesome. We really appreciate it. So what I told Josh, I said, here, let's start with this one and see what they think. Let's do interesting items in the color blue. So we're going to start with the color blue, and uh, we both like blue. Blue's my favorite interesting color. Interesting items. The first two interesting <laughs> items. Yeah, us. Okay, that's it. Not, uh, not all that interesting. We're not that interesting, but here we go. We're going to start right here. Josh found the first item. So uh, here we go, Josh. What do we have? It says, what's it say on there? Experimental blown glass. Experimental blown glass. What's the price? Eighty five dollars. Eighty five dollars. Look at the that coloring there. Look at, there. Look at the pattern. swirl. That is so wild. I have no it's idea where that's made at. But that's our first interesting item in color blue. And the same right beside it. Here's another one. Blown glass vase with fish. Ooh, that is so cool. Okay, I'm buying that one. 
Uh, that one <laughs> well, will be in our whatnot no sale. Um, that, that one's no longer available. Let's pull, here, let me have that. We're going to put that in our whatnot That's sale pile. Cool. I like that. I'm going to make Lucas put the that fish in his did pile. It, the they? fish, yes. Without the fish on there, it wouldn't have been near as exciting. But uh, $42, I think well, I'm going to buy that one and, and try it on whatnot. And maybe we should pick brown. Okay, so there's, two, uh, there's the first two items in blue, Josh. What else do we got? Well, Interesting items in the color blue. Interesting items in the color what blue. What about the old Staffordshire scene? Old yeah, some historical <laughs> Staffordshire stuff here. There's an Adams historical picture. Uh, the spout's got a small repair on it, it says, but uh, that one's priced at 195 Now, that's probably, what is that, 1820 ish Somewhere near 1820 1840 I'm guessing. Uh, somebody online will probably know way more than I would. Uh, but that's a nice teapot in the color blue. That's purple. I'm not showing it. I know. I'm just looking at it for cool $19. Piece. That was our first booth. We're going to continue on. Interesting items in the color blue. Oh, Josh found another item. Let's see what he's got. We got three little pieces of fit in here. Yes. All 15, in the color 15, blue. 15, 15, 18. $15. These are reasonable prices. $15. And then 18 on that swung vase. That mini swung. Okay, Josh. Uh, I got to buy that one. Get the key. I got to buy that mini swung. That's going on whatnot, Sean. Yeah. Okay, that one's not going to be available because I'm going to go ahead and buy it in the color blue. Following Josh till he finds the next interesting item in color blue, Josh. That was pretty cool. I, uh, this might cost me a lot. I think I've bought half of them so far. I should have you shop for me more often. <laughs> you got something blue back there? Yeah. This, well, we can't get to it. It's It's got a snake wrapped around it. It's a blue vase with a snake wrapped all the way around it. Okay, $79, let's have a look. but it is really cool. Blue vase in the back. See in the back. Art glass vase. I, I'm, I'm going to try and get a couple angles so they can see what we're looking at. There's one angle. Let me go to the other side. Uh, you'd think somebody let us have keys around here, huh? <laughs> Here's the other <laughs> side. So it's got a serpent vase, a serpent snake wrapped all the way around it. Some kind of an art glass. I'm not sure where it's from, but it's priced at $79 in the color blue i seen this box and i thought well that is stunning wave crest victorian wave crest box it's in massive. blue and this is huge guys this is like a i don't yeah, know that's got to be seven inch box I, I wish yeah, it's bad you, I can't See, look at the feet it, the feet even have like the, the the nickel plate feet on it and th that is a, a crazy color blue on this thing it says that it's got the original lining in it uh in the color blue that is stunning Oh, here's some here's some really cool blue stuff over here. So look at this Weller piece here in uh, what is this called? Blue Luelsa. That's rare. Blue Luelsa art pottery. So by like, doing color blue, we're going to get everybody's categories covered. That is fun, guys. That's an absolutely gorgeous piece in the color blue. And then Josh said, "Hey, right beside it, there's something else. What do you got?" That's oh, a tin. A, this is a tin here. I, there's another piece. Oh, of there tin. you go. That's a really a cool blue tin. A blue tin. It's got little ch uh, children's scenes on the front yeah. of it. Uh, priced at $60, a little child's tin. That's a trash fun. can. Trash, oh, it's a child's trash can. Yep. All right, in blue. Josh just found a really cool piece of folk art in blue. It says uh, Frank Dunn folk Frank art, Dunn folk art oh, out, of out of Michigan. So here you go, Dunn's Toyland. Uh, that's cool. All folk art wagon uh, in blue. Josh found something blue and he said, hey, let's go check that out. So what do we got here? The old storage box. It's a storage box blue. in blue paint. And okay. then we have... And then the same booth right over here is a blue country basket. country basket in blue paint. <laughs> That's even got red trim on that one. There we go. Two That's interested true. items in blue. Hey, just walking down through here and check out this one. This is a painting, oil on canvas, kind of a mid-century one, but in blue. That is so cool. Here's San Francisco in blue. Oh, a little print of San Francisco. <laughs> now see the difference. Josh likes that San Francisco print. Well, it's okay. I guess it's by NASA. I love that big painting back there. The That's so cool. Sweet. But I was looking, I was like, oh, here's San Francisco in blue. There we go. We're are, we're continuing on. Interesting yeah. items in blue. Dark County Fair. Dark County Fair hat. That's cool. And M&M. &M. &M. That is an &M. interesting item. That looks like Josh. Twinsies. <laughs> Twinsies. <laughs> well, this is kind of blue. It's got some blue paint on here, but this is an Alaskan totem pole. Uh, that is so fun on the Alaskan totem pole. It's got lots of blue on it. Now, that's an interesting item. I got to get close on it. Look at the carving on this thing. All the paint, the decoration. That is cool. Lots of blue. Now, not everybody would point this out, but that's a really cool vintage dustpan in blue. I like it. Frame, but... Josh found a needle work in blue. Kind of interesting. What would you put that put on that, Josh? Would you put it over a chair, probably? Put it on a chair. Right? Yeah, on a chair. Okay. Here we go. Hobby piece, uh, vintage skateboard in blue. This is so interesting because we're finding uh, American art pottery, we're finding art glass, and then we've got vintage skateboard. Oh, check out the floor lamp. That's from the fabulous 50s. That's in blue. 
Josh said he hit the jackpot. He's oh, smiling. Man. Look at it. He's pointing. We're in David's booth, but yeah, I mean, look, look at that. All the blue. Those look like Tiffin. Check those out. Those are cool. Uh, absolute gorgeous bluebirds down here. I like those. And then he's got a. All the blue. We got to film some blue. It's yeah, just, it's he's so got cool. It separated for us. He's got it separated. But look at there. We got the scarf. Let's get the scarf first. Here, look at this. A blue scarf. I'll sell in my collection. Interesting items in blue. Which one of these interesting items are you going to pick out? I like, look at this vase here. This is cool with the gold gold on it. Oh, this is so cool. I got to pick that one up. I like this guy. Look at that. Oh, man, that is so cool. It's signed art glass. $275. Absolutely stunning. Blue in blue. Frog. And a blue frog right beside it. How much is the frog? $77. 77. That's a Viking, Viking frog, glass, too. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Interesting items in blue. There you go. Vintage. 80s denim jacket, $33 in blue. Well, Josh found something really cool. He said, what we got? Blue painted tote, but a, right a across blue the aisle. Painted, look at that, a little box painted blue, $65. And then right across the aisle, oh, <laughs> check. Now that's interesting. Vintage in blue. Man, I like that. Look at the style on that. That's only $79, mid-century chair in blue. Really cool. Oh, Josh said, hey, you gotta get the barber pole sign. This is an enamel one, advertising. Uh, barber pole sign in blue. I love the enamel. Look at the stars on that. So cool. You can only see half this sign because it's hanging behind the shelf, but check it out. That is absolutely blue. Uh, Ferguson tractors and implement sign in blue. Chatfield, Ohio. Oh, here we go. Vintage blue coat. Looks like wool coat. That's a nice coat. Heavy. Man, check that out. I like that. What does it say here? Blue uh, Larry Levine coat, $55. Absolutely cool piece in blue this one's baby blue but we're counting it uh it, check it out guys we got a little uh a couple of decanters. decanters yeah there color that one and blue. then you got the bean bottles then you got the bean blue, blue it's in blue. blue josh said hey we gotta get these i know what he's thinking i'll check this out art glass in blue look at the how it's all like block cut all the different dimensions and it's got like a uh it's a it's a bud vase on the inside pair of them. so cool and that's for the pair and this one's got a little mid-century cool those are cool art glass in blue I know that everybody's going to make fun of us, but I'm telling you what, we sell so much Tupperware. $10 for a stacking Tupperware set in blue. Oh, Josh, that'd look good on you there, kid. I think you should try that one on. Yeah, $38. Uh, there you go. That that could be your new look in blue. I can rock it. I think you can rock it. I love the blue elephants, guys. It's only $29. It's uh, paper on paper. That is cool. Blue Pyrex. We got a lot of blue Pyrex in the mall here. We got, of course, the blue granite wear. Can't miss that. Okay, so zoom in here on the ice cream maker, hand crank ice cream maker. Maybe this summer I can get Josh to crank some out for us. Well, that's a cool lamp uh, in blue, mid century lamp back here in booth number. What are we in? Uh, what building? What are we in, Josh? We are in 4102. 4102. That's just a cool lamp, guys. Here you go. Blue Dutch boy. He's cute. Little finger puppet. A quick foot relief advertisement in blue. Here's a whole group of uh, the canisters and stuff. Delphite, that's cool. Jeanette glass, all the blue. All right, Josh was drawing in on the blue mahi mahi. There you go. It's got a good blue. Tint. It's got a blue, blue a blue green. green. Does that count? It's got greenish blue. It's I guess oceanic. it does. It's oceanic. Okay. <laughs> the interesting set of Fire King in blue, and then same same shelf. Look, blue Pyrex. Lots of blue in this case. Blue luggage. blue luggage service. Nice vintage Japanese. Of course, you got a 1870s French uh, Sevres clock set in blue. Okay, that's a big piece of glass. It floor is vase. cobalt, floor vase, cobalt blue, mid-century. That's big. With the blue in this one here, Jonathan... Uh, Adger or Adgen, not sure how you read that one. $149 on that. That's a cool piece. Pottery. Well, there's a rare globe in a, in a Deets Lantern. Blue globe. That's kind of hard to find. Vintage blue fan. Painted blue. Really cool. Man, these prices on its fans are unreal. $11 on that one. $29 on that one. Wow. He's going to sell quick. Okay, Victorian enamel glass on the pair. Absolutely cool. Great decorations. Cobalt blue. Oh, check out that little micro mosaic in blue. 
That's cool. Hey, we can't leave out this guy. Happy birthday in blue. He's fun. <laughs> Josh, get the cream separator. This is cool. Marvel. Marvel cream separator in blue. It's only $95. That's such a good buy. Okay, this is not blue, but one of our employees just pointed this out to me, and they said, this is the rarest Coke bottle. One side is Coca-Cola, and the other side is Tab, so it got double stamped. Uh, absolute rare Coke slash Tab bottle. It's not quite blue, but it's pretty rare. We got a blue deluxe. Monarch up there, bicycle, Monarch, super deluxe, Four bicycle, rafters. in the rafters. Hey, there's a parrot, a uh, parrot key. I'm not quite sure which it is, but it's blue. Found another really interesting blue it. chair. Uh, I don't know, mid-century, I guess, is what it would be. But that's that's interesting. It is blue. And there's a hamper that's blue. I never knew we had such a variety of blue items in the Antique Center. Hmm. I wonder if this is a model for the Blue Man Group. All right. We, we found a whole booth that's got some really interesting items in blue. Uh, Josh, uh, there we go. Feathers, blue feathers on Josh. Interesting items in blue today on the scarf check this one out oh wait we got another one here that's cool that nice i like that 28 dollars. beautiful blue scarf there's a gorgeous blue necklace right beside it's a blue purse oh we found another hat in blue that's that is really cool that's like a turquoise blue i like that one josh cool, you think it might look all right no I'm not quite sure that you works. You may get a sunburn. <laughs> I might get that. a sunburn of that. <laughs> My bald head would get burnt if I wear that hat. A nice color blue lard uh, advertising tin. I love the blue on that one. Hey, Jacob. The blue soap. Clothespin iron. Clothespin holder. Holder, yep. Clothespin holder. Man, we used to have to carry those around and help in need. you remember those? <laughs> oh, yeah. We've hung our fair share of those, haven't we? We've got it. I like the truck. Is that Earnhardt? You tell how much I watch uh, racing. I don't even know who that is. I should know that. In blue. This guy's in blue. He's a uh, tumble man decanter with shot glass on top. I really like him. He's priced at $75, but that's just really cool. He's tempting to buy. Oh, I think that's blue, Josh. It's really, it's got a lot of blue in it. You work there, I can see. There you go. Now you can see. <laughs> I probably wear it more like a hat. You probably wear it like a hat <laughs> in blue. <laughs> a little group of blue lights. Here's a blue Hawaiian shirt. That's cool. Look at the label on that one. It's a Kahala. Wow, check out the Victorian. Looks Victorian dress, all blue. That is absolutely gorgeous dress. Really well made. How much is that? That one's priced at $125. $1,800, it says. $1,800 shirt top. That is so cool. Head out. That's blue. Pure oil uh, gas pump. Those are cool. Chinese uh, cobalt blue food dogs. Those are out of sight. What we got, Josh? This one was just reading. It's a wholesale dry goods box. Dry goods box? Was it for eggs or something? I don't know. Man, that's cool. Yeah, a little egg crate. Yeah, that is so cool on the egg crate. Uh, that is fabulous. Look at the old stenciling on that. Man, really yeah, egg carrier. That's what it is. And it's a dry goods advertising egg, car egg carrier. Great color on this box. We got a blue boat. Model, original box. Probably Japanese, I'm assuming. Pretty cool piece. This is a model of Josh. I mean, that's a Ken doll. Never mind. Our excursion in uh, blue, guys. We wanted to just show you just a lot a, of good stuff. A variety. I'm surprised. You know, walking through there, we found like really expensive, great things and yeah. all kinds of interesting things. Well, when you said blue, and... I thought, oh man, it's going to be kind of hard to find some cool stuff. We found all <laughs> kind of good stuff. And we could have we could have filmed for like hours. Yeah, each just booth had blue. some I really mean, neat stuff. Yeah. So hopefully you enjoyed that. Let me get some sold bins. Oh, there we go. In the sold bin, I like the big green vase. Kind of looks like maybe Viking. I'm not sure. Uh, green clackle. Blinko. Blinko is what they say. $45 on that one. Lucky Derby glass. Priced at $68. Sold. There's been a lot of milk glass selling lately out of here. There's a set of eight goblets in here. Uh, let's see what the price says. I mean, it's $32 for the set of eight. That's an interesting tile top table with iron base sold what's the tag say this one is priced out at thirty dollars here's an interesting uh, chinese stand priced at 136 marble top this is fun it's a, like looks like it's swiss probably black force or out out made piece but uh let's see what it says austrian music box 160. that is fun music box bowl hand carved for 160 sold 
Here are some really interesting 14 karat gold uh, opal, blue opal earrings. And then right beside it, check these guys out. Blue topaz, uh, 14 karat gold earrings. Those are fun. Crazy 14 karat gold blue topaz again. These are fabulous. This is an interesting item here in blue. We got several pieces. You got the Pepsi machine, which in blue, that's kind of cool. And then you got the hires advertising sign right here. And then right above it, you get another advertising. Mesmerizing paperweight in blue. Really cool colors. Well, we decided we're done for the day. <laughs> we are so whipped. It's been a long week. It was dinner. We just ate dinner. <laughs> Fritos and M&M's. Fritos and M&M's. We're here at the cafe uh, watching some football now. Is there anything else to add? It's a done deal. Done deal. Well, guys, thanks again. <laughs> we're, we're wiped out, so we're going to quit filming for the day. Blessings to you guys. Thanks for watching us. Uh, don't forget to follow both of our channels, at Burner Brother Antiques, at Heart of Ohio Antiques. Uh, again, we appreciate everything you guys do watching us. Give us all the comments. Uh, we watch them all, read them all, uh, and we try and answer as many as we can. Thank you.